Nice one, cool dudes. It is day four of the Vectus Trail. I should be starting this in Braiding, but instead I'm starting in Benbridge because who wouldn't want to see the windmill at the start of the trail? And I've had the pleasure of meeting three guys over there. You might be able to see them, they'll give you a wave. They're on their last day of the coastal path. So well done to them. Anyway, I've got about 18 miles to do in just under eight hours, which means I have to walk over two miles an hour. All right, let's get going. This is from Benbridge to Whitwell. Good luck everyone, especially me. I could have got the bus to Braden, but those of you familiar with uh, Isle of Wight buses will know that it's actually quicker to walk. This bit of the walk's appeared in quite a lot of my videos, so I'll take the opportunity to talk about gear. Yes, I am wearing my Tesco's waterproof, but this underneath here is a Crag Hopper's shirt. I got one for Christmas from my brother. It's called the Nozzy Life Pro 4. Not the greatest of names, but perhaps the greatest of shirts. Why? It's thin. It's got poppered buttons. It's got two zips here. It's got a glasses cleaner. The collars go up to protect you in the sun and the sleeves roll up with poppers to hold them in place. And it almost looks normal. I thoroughly recommend it. I think it's online for about 80 pounds, but no one ever pays a normal price. It seems that all outdoor gear websites are always having a sale. So I got this for about 45 pounds with vouchers. You do have to spend about a year of your life just typing in weird codes and hoping they work. But I think that's pretty much everyone's normal shopping experience now. I'd like to point out that even though I've said Crag Hoppers quite a few times, I'm not sponsored by them. Although I'm more than open to being sponsored by companies that I like. Nice one. Every time I go past the old wax museum, I feel sad. Look at this. Sunflowers and wonderful views. And we're heading over there somewhere. I plotted this route from the Vectis Trail book that I bought onto my outdoor active app. It tells you what the terrain's like. And unfortunately, the end of this walk is brutal. There's three massive hills. So I'm gonna get progressively grumpy as this walk goes on. It sounds like there's a magpie fight going on somewhere. They're the two birds that I see the most everywhere. Magpies and pigeons. Whenever I go down these wooded, sort of slatted pathways. I always think I'm in the uh, jungle world in Flash Gordon with Timothy Dalton. Heading into Borthwood Copse, which is notoriously the home of the red squirrels. I spent about five minutes staring at some rustling in a tree, only to find out it was, of course, a pigeon. I'm saving my lunch for the first ascent as a way of motivating myself. I've got sausage sandwiches, or muffins rather. I'm very pleased to report that I found some tomato relish to put on them because I found it very difficult to get tomato relish, even in the big Tesco's. So that is my question for you today, cool dudes. What bit of food that you enjoy eating is now no longer in the shops or available. I also used to like pacers, which were these mints you've got, and crisps that were in the shape of pigs that I ate when I was younger. And my favourite thing of all was the baby food I ate from the age of, well, a baby, until I was about four. It was a cereal called Banana Malupa. My mum said I always used to have to insist on eating it every morning. 
until they stopped making it. I can still remember the taste of it now. Delicious. To be honest with you, cool dudes, 99.5% of my brain is just focused on eating that sausage muffin when I get to the top of this hill. But I'm pretty annoyed with myself because I cooked six sausages last night and I wanted to have two for my dinner and four for the walk. But someone was greedy and ate three of them last night. Yes, and they were delicious, thank you very much. I knew it, sunglasses, Marek. The Vectors Trail recommends you go down there and then up all the way around there. I have decided to overrule this path and risk going round all the way on the downs to get the better view. It could well jeopardise me catching the bus at 4.51. We should find out if I'm on track in approximately half an hour's time. Bob's bench. Thanks, Bob. Lunch Cool Dudes is sausage, mustard, tomato, relish and ketchup, baps, palm bear, apple, double decker, tomatoes my mum and dad have grown, and strawberry laces. Nice one. I'm closing in on the point where the paths meet. It's 2.34, 4.4 miles remaining, and my bus is in two hours and 15 minutes. Pretty close. I've realised there's been absolutely zero historical information on this walk, so I'm going to put a few facts in now. Oh yes, you must come and do the Vectors Trail. Uh, yes, they've, yes, they've just had lots of steam nettles put in and, and some rabbit holes just to make it more exciting for you. No sign of a path whatsoever. Brilliant. Why don't you enjoy those views behind me while I have a heart attack? I suspect there's going to be quite a few beetroot Marek emojis in the comments of this video. What have I learned from this walk? Everything is better when you've got a sausage sandwich in your bag to look forward to. So in future, I think I might always carry one and not ever eat it until the end. Because the promise of a, a sausage sandwich is just it's worth about a mile an hour on my walking speed, I think. Up there, you might recognise that radio tower because that's where the band Wet Leg filmed one of their videos. Perhaps if they heard the keyboard at the end of my videos, they'd invite me to join their band. Hmm. Well, and you're right, cool dudes. I almost forgot the Freedom of the Isle of Wight challenge. But don't worry, here it is. There are three strands of red things. Two of them are strawberry laces. Mmm, delicious. One of them is something else entirely. Which strand do you eat? If you chose strand one or two, congratulations. You just had a delicious strawberry lace. 
if you chose strand three, you pulled out the hair of an angry farmer's pimple and he's chasing you across the field with his gun. Unlucky, you're out to the Isle of Wight Freedom, the Isle of Wight Challenge, whatever it's called. As this walk draws to a close, it is a wonderful time where I say to you, you can support me making more videos, moaning about things on walks by joining the club. The best way to join is by joining on YouTube because this is now pretty much my full-time job. So I'm trying to make a regular income from it. And there are four different tiers. For just 99p a month, you get to use these emojis and watch all these extra videos. And if you want a membership number and you're on YouTube, just email calldudeswalkingclub at gmail.com. Also, there's merch on the website. T-shirts, hats, books, zines, spotters, handbooks, you name it. I'd like to buy it all. And membership packs from the website will be available till Christmas, and then I'm phasing them out. But everyone who's joined is still a lifetime member. All right, cool dudes, that's enough for that blooming bit. Let's just finish this walk off. Yes, cool dudes, the walk is complete. 17 and a half miles, seven and a half hours. It's just about to rain. I'm pretty tired. The walk was pretty average, but I've done most of the Vectis Trail now. Another walk soon. Thanks for watching. The prize will come out for all members. That's about it. Oh yeah, one more thing. After that car, I'm gonna wait until after that car. Now, stay cool. Oh, what a beautiful painting. I'd very much like to uh, buy that. Well, you can. This uh, watercolor of the windmill it's uh, 10 centimetres by 15 centimetres, is now on eBay. The link is below in the description and you can buy it to own for yourself. Starting bids, let's say 15 pounds. All right, let's go on with the prize draw. What is it this week? Oh, none other than strawberry laces, spotted handbook, notebook, badges and stickers. Oh, very nice. Uh, currently, there are 885 members on the website and 250 on YouTube, which means a new poll for a new emoji for YouTube members. Right, um, a random number generator. Could you generate me a number? Generate 531. Cool dude 531 is Alex. Congratulations, Alex. That stuff will be on its way to you. That's about it. Oh, yeah, one more thing. Stay cool.